Coach, are you able to uh, start with an injury update? Players that were hurt? Yeah, uh, Hamannick, Shabbat, uh, Chikrin, Broussard, none of which <clears throat> will travel um, after tonight. Unable to play. Broussard had surgery this morning um, to repair a fibula. And uh, obviously he's out long term. Hamannick, we're a little bit hopeful. Maybe uh, <clears throat> uh, that he can finish. Um, you know, some games at the end there uh, when we get back to the trip, but we'll see. How, how difficult was that to see Derek Broussard, knowing the stage of his career and all that stuff, to see him have to deal with that? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, first off, any, any one of your players gets severely injured. It impacts, you know, not only the bench, but the whole staff. We're like a family in here. We hang around, you know, how many days a year. And <clears throat> to watch a guy screaming like that is not, you know, ideal. Obviously, Forsberg... You know, now brass, you know, there are a couple serious injuries, but, um, you know, and then especially where he is at in his career and he has to make that decision. Um, <clears throat> but he's given us a lot of good games and he's provided a lot of leadership. He's helped with that second power play. Um, you know, he's got 13 goals. Um, you know, uh, he's, he's had a heck of a year and, uh, you know, we're going to miss him. Um, but we have to have, <clears throat> you know, Ridley. Now he's back and, and deemed healthy, so we're able to put him in, and hopefully that helps. At his <coughs> age, just sorry. At his age, um, would it be difficult for for, your, for him to end his career that way? You're not really going out on your own terms. Yeah, obviously it is, but that's that's for him to decide. That's a tough injury, <coughs> you know, and and uh, you know where he's at. You know that that's 100% his choice, um, but that's that's a tough one. Just on Craig, um, what, how did he get clearance? And you... <laughs> you know, and I, it, I think they originally thought it was one thing, and after X-rays and MRIs and everything, <clears throat> uh, realized that it wasn't as bad. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, I'm not a doctor or, or trainer, and they told me he's cleared. Um, you know, so he was cleared uh, just after practice the other day. Um, <clears throat> you know, we weren't sure. Uh, didn't have him scheduled, but uh, you know we wanted to get him in today, kind of regardless. Um, but the injury to Brass, now you know we clearly need him. Which it was known in the ice this morning. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, it's just illness, um, nothing serious, but illness. <clears throat> so we'll see if he's able to travel with us if, or not, or he'll have to fly and meet us. You're, you're D, obviously. I think <laughs> losing Hamannik, Chikrin, and Shabbat. You've got to cobble this together. Was there any thought in your mind uh, because they played a little bit together? At, uh, Putting any of the, the UND guys together as a pairing tonight, or is that a little unfair, just given the experience? I mean, that's that's a long time ago, and that's a way different league than the NHL. Um, <clears throat> you know, but I mean, f you know, uh, they have played. You know, they know each other. But every one of these guys has probably played more minutes. <clears throat> you know, Brandy and Holdy have played more minutes than any one of those probably guys would have played together. Um, you know, Zub and Sandy are playing really well together. Um, I think. I think Clev and Holdy the other night, obviously Clev played really well, and I think guys that play with Holdy, uh, you know, he talks you through it for a young guy, so we're going to keep them together, and we'll put JBD with Brandy tonight to start. They have played some games together, but, <clears throat> you know, if we got to shorten the bench or do what we got to do, I know Clevin played some shifts with Sanderson the other night on the right, um, and he's done that in, in North Dakota. He's played some right defense, so <clears throat> um, we're going to do whatever we have to to win the game. Quite a challenge for a young D core to face the, the Leafs tonight. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, but um, it is what it is. And uh, you know, Clev, you know, came in and, and did his part. Now JBG, JBD's coming up. They're telling me he's playing really well. Uh, he's he's got confidence, and we need him to do the exact same thing. So um, we there's no time to think about it. You just gotta go, and we gotta find a way to win a game tonight. That's it. What do you anticipate from them? Or, you know, well, they're a good team. I mean, they're as good as anyone in the league. I mean, they're they're one of, you know. The, the six, seven, eight teams you'd say have a chance to, to win it all, and, and they're built for that. Um, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're fairly healthy. Obviously, Matthews is going all out right now. Um, <clears throat> you know, he's scoring, he's working, he's checking. Their decor's loaded. Um, you know, they got some pretty good guys sitting out on the back end. Uh, we know what, what we're up against. Uh, we're going to try and limit everything we can, but we got to score when we get our opportunities as well. Given all the, I don't know, distractions and just adversity you guys are facing, do you think that sometimes this can focus a group big time on the, on the task at hand?
Yeah, for sure. You just got to do your job, and you can't worry about what the other guy's doing, and, and you just do your job and do it to the absolute best and give us every opportunity we're gonna, to win, and, and it's going to be short shifts. It's going to be you know, try and limit the odd man rushes, <clears throat> stay out of the penalty box, discipline, all these things, but all you can do is control what you control. Just make sure your game's good and, and, and you know, the next guy and the next guy down the road, and if we get enough guys that, that do their job and play at their best, we got a chance. Stuzla doesn't base his own performance on like goals or assists. It's well beyond that. Like he was talking the other day about like body language is something he's worked on. Like how have you seen his growth in, in those areas as the years gone on? Well, I think it's a huge thing for young kids. You know, they come in with you know whatever league they're coming from. You know, when something doesn't go their way, they bang their stick or their body language. When you look at the best pros in the league, you don't see it. You know, they, but these guys are thirty. You know, and they've learned this. You know, and I talk about some of the best players in the league, and, and you don't see it. And Timmy's working on that. Um, he's continued to get better. All of the young guys, you know, when they come in, they, they, they thought the league was one way, and now they realize how hard it is to do it every single night. And some nights you're not going to have it, but you can't lose your concentration or your focus or else it falls right apart for you. And I think that's what he's talking about is the body line. Just worry about your next shift. And I think he's done a really good job uh, improving that, and he obviously knows there's more to go, but he's 21. You know, so, you know, him at 25 is going to be a way different player. PJ, uh, Jake Sanderson played nearly 28 minutes the other night, uh, career high for him. At the start of the, this season, could you possibly have imagined being able to lean on him so much? Uh, typically, those guys, like, they fall off a bit in their rookie season. It's, it seems like you're relying a lot on him right now. No, for sure. I mean, I, I was told, you know, this is what he was. But, I mean, you're told that about so many players in the league you know, can make or break you, and it's a heck of a league. One of the things with Jake is his off ice, his training, his eating, <clears throat> taking care of himself, it allows him to do this. Um, you know, a lot of younger guys fall off, like you say, late in the year when it gets to this. He really relishes details, which helps him. The nights he doesn't have legs, he has really good detail. And you don't find that for young guys. Uh, it takes time for them to really realize that, and all young guys, not our young guys, the whole league. Jake loves details like he talks to Jack you know regular level where you know stick positioning all these little things those things allow him to do it the nights he doesn't have legs and the nights he has legs it's easy for him not easy but <clears throat> I mean he, he's a heck of a player if you go back on Richard how long is the prognosis to for him to recover your I don't know uh, exactly I, I, I mean that's a that's a eight week you know at least six eight week uh, you know he had a plate put in you know so I mean there's it's not a quick one Put it that way, and and uh, and you know I know he was in a lot of pain yesterday. Couldn't get him in until this morning. There were some emergencies and things like that. So I know uh, Brass has been good. He's been good here. He's been good for the teammates. Been good for the staff. He, he's really I think evolved as a person in hockey from where he was as a young kid to where he is now. And I think he notices that, and that's why he was good to our young guys talking about that evolution. The, the broken or is it yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, the calendar says now it's obviously we've moved into April and you guys are still alive in this race. And I'm wondering as a group, you look at like a game like tonight, you're alive in the playoff race. You're playing arguably your, your biggest rival. What can this do for this, uh, this group of guys, like this, this game in particular? <clears throat> I don't know if it's just one game, but I, th I think for this group, this stretch here with all the injuries and having to win games and doing all these things, I think – Going forward, you realize every point matters. Every point matters at the start of the year, in the middle of the year. No game's bigger than another. And I think, you know, sometimes early in the year when you lose a game or lose two games, it carried into us, um, you know, and you're feeling like, you know, because the group hasn't made the playoffs, that, you know, that's going to affect you so much. You know, in the next games, all of a sudden they're real tense. They realize, I think now every game matters. Every game, just go to the next one. Go to the next one. And it, and this group is so close um, to winning consistent, consistently. I mean, we had the toughest month since I've been here. Every team, but I think two were playoff teams in March. With all the injuries we had, I think we finished seven, seven, and one. We wanted to be eight, six, and you know, and and one or better. Um, <clears throat> but you know, with with the competition and what we had, we're alive. And we know what April faces for us, and today's a big game. Do you ever stop to envision what this Battle of Ontario might be in a couple of years when this young group is matured? Well, for sure. I, I mean, I'm privy to the fact that I was 
in Toronto when, when they were the young kids and when Mitch was and Matthews were Timmy's age. And now here they are, you know, as the, the you know, the so called big dogs of the league. Um, I think we've got some guys that, you know, when they're two, three more years are gonna be right there. And, you know, we we've got a lot of good young players uh, coming up. Um, obviously winning is the hard part but we've got some guys that you know uh, right now and as they go forward are going to make it more difficult for for those guys I mean they're not a finished product but I mean they're there they're they're right there and uh, we want to be there Um, you know it starts for us tonight you know just giving a this is an important game you know we talked about playing important games it's an important one I mean whether you got injuries or not we got to find a way to win quick turnaround here for you yeah, for sure. Uh, thought I was playing a three and three in Belleville, and uh, always happy to get the call. So it's nice. And how have you, how have you been playing? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, obviously, we're in a you know a playoff race, so every game's important down there, and you know same deal up here. So um, I wanted to help my team in Belleville, obviously, uh, try and make the playoffs. But um, you know, I'm never gonna complain for a call up, and obviously now it's uh, trying to help the Suns here. There was a time where we were all at University of North Dakota for you guys to send draft picks and it was like one day perhaps you all would end up here and now it's before you in the lineup tonight and what do you think it's going to be like? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I think uh, it's a cool story for sure. Uh, two years ago we were all in the same lineup there in North Dakota, so uh, it'll be fun and uh, it's just nice seeing uh, obviously I haven't seen Clevy in two years, so nice talking to him this morning and uh, it's definitely cool. Yeah. Would, did you guys ever talk about that down there? Like, oh, one day maybe we'll all be playing together in the NHL? Uh, I don't think so. I think maybe it's a bit more of a, a fun thing for the media, I guess. Um, but like I said, it's it's unbelievable. Like, how many times uh, does that happen? And um, I don't even know if it's ever happened in NHL history, to be honest with you. So four guys off the same college team, it's, it's pretty cool. Thoughts on playing with uh, Eric Branch? Yeah, I mean, uh, I watch a lot of the Sens games, you know, when I'm down. So... Uh, you know, Brandy's been playing great lately and uh, just his skating ability. So um, hopefully I can compliment that and, uh, you know, be solid for him. And, um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a great player, so it'll be fun. Just a matter of keeping things simple here tonight. Yeah, yeah, I think not deviating from my game. I mean, I know I know what to expect. I've, you know, haven't played a ton of games here, but um, obviously we, we got the same systems in, in Belleville. So, um, you know, I'm familiar with them. And uh, my time up here with the guys uh, earlier this year has definitely, uh, you know, made me comfortable. Would you expect the Maple Leafs will run tonight? Um, I mean, I mean, they're a, they're a great team, obviously. So uh, you play against those top guys. It's it's tough not to be starstruck sometimes, I think. But um, yeah, I think just playing my game is it's all I can focus on. And you know, they're going to make good plays. Uh, it's just uh, you know sticking to the game plan here with the guys, and uh, hopefully we can come up with a win.